Hi guys, this is Ian from Josh Workers. Welcome back to our playthrough, some live translated playthrough of 13 something else AG stream. Uh, this is the sixth episode of this Let's Play now. Uh, last time we played with uh, Fusaka Iori and we reached pretty much nearly the end of our story. And now we can't play with her anymore. We need to reach 60% of 8 other protagonist stories. Now I'm gonna pick someone else. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a previously on because tons of stuff happened last video and honestly I didn't understand everything myself. But what I can make out for now is that uh, the protagonists uh, were all in in different factions in the past but in the future and some of them were fighting each other despite the audience threat so anyway we're gonna pick another character now uh, I think I'm gonna uh, I unlock this guy when I pick him because he's voiced by Lelouch by, uh, by uh, Fukujun I'm gonna pick him too because his story was interesting so I'm gonna go with him so in his product what happened is that uh, he was dreaming that uh, he was piloting a robot with uh, with uh, some of the other characters and then he saved uh, her, this girl from a group of Dedankans and she's a Dedankan too and she told him that she's going to transfer to a school so now they are gonna meet at school, I guess. And then the other thing which happened is that he was dreaming and he saw that his teacher, uh, Morimura Sensei, who is actually her, he saw her piloting a mecha and then she sacrificed herself to to send him back to the past and then he met her from the past and stuff happened. And then he woke up from his dream and he saw in, on his TV there was a girl who was telling him that he needs to save her. So we're gonna see what's What's happen next now? Yeah, yeah it's complicated. <laughs> to be honest, I think I hope the game will be well written enough in how no matter who you play and in whatever order you do it, you will always get more answers than questions, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we'll be learning more about the story you now. So what did you say? Uh, I can I really can't wrap up my head around all this because of these rare dreams and then there was this thing in the, in the middle of the night in, on the TV I hope that was a dream too Takami Ayuki is a dead and quaint girl uh, a, a super cute girl like this, she's the one who sent to the hospital the guys from the other school. I've never seen a girl like her before. I really fell in for her. Uh, Inaba Miyuki is uh, that one idol I've seen on TV. So I was speaking with an idol who was in a TV. Yeah, no one. This is definitely bad. If I tell this to anyone, they'll think I'm crazy. Is uh, is the key of his bike? So my back is a GRG250 from Shikishima. Shikishima is a, is a heavy construction company who does machines and who does airplanes and stuff. And speaking of which, last time he saw the health teacher Morimura Sensei get out of this company, which proves that it's a pretty shady company. So today I came to school with my back. And uh, so yeah, he's a student, he's a high school student, so he technically doesn't have the right to have a bike, it seems. So he parked, he parked it somewhere far away from school. Uh, Kurabe isn't in his class. Even talked, I told him I wanted to speak about our dreams. Maybe he's in the corridor uh, on the lower floor. Hey, this girl is uh, Kisara Gitomi, the 
Twin Tails Glasses Girl from the future. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's Amiguchi. Hey, did I, did, did I do something to you, Savatari? Savatari is a big tails girl. She's hiding, she's scared of him or something. <laughs> Amiguchi remembered my name. She's crazy about him, it seems. She's like that with all the guys in the school. All the cool guys in the school. Hey, I remember your name too, Tommy. Tommy-chan. Yeah, but I wonder why did you even remember my name too? I always remember a girl's name. Hey, Miwako. I don't get what do you find... Why do you find this thing so attractive? Hey, let's go. She called him that thing, like she just called him a, a, some kind of animal, some kind of living being. She doesn't want, she doesn't consider him human. Uh, so, class one year A. Uh, Yuki-chan told me she would be in A class, but she's not here. Okay. Uh, we cannot speak to anyone else. Yeah, the NPCs are just here for decoration, which is pretty nice, but you cannot speak with them. Uh, let's think about uh, Glasses Girl. Uh, she's a girl in the same class as Kurabe in class B. She's definitely not my type, but I'm really interested in her for some reason. Maybe because of my dreams. Uh, maybe Kurabe is waiting for me on the first floor. Let's go to the old school building, the corridor to the old school building, the first floor. Okay, let's go. You can see the old school building in the background. Oh, the robot. The Ichi robot. Hey, that's... Hey, Miura. Ah, Amiguchi. Uh, this guy is one of the protagonists, too. Hey, so... Oh, he ran away from home. Even if I go back... I can I can't do anything over there. Well, I won't ask you for your circumstances, but yeah, it seems like you have some problems. Yeah, if you if you need something, don't uh, don't f like if you if you need something, you can stay at my place one more time. Seems like he already stayed at his place. Yeah, you really helped me back then. Uh, right now I'm staying... I'm staying at someone else's place. Okay. Oh, that's nice. By the way, what is this thing? Yeah, it's... Uh... uh Yakusoku wasuriruna, don't forget the promise. Oh, it spoke. Is that a radio? Awesome. Uh, is that thing yours? No, it isn't. Uh, I've got a feeling of deja vu. Oh, that's right. I've seen this thing in my dreams. And Miura, you were in my dreams too. Maybe are you from the future or something? 
And you ran away from home, but from the future. Ah, it was a joke. I'm seeing this kind of dreams all the time nowadays, so... Yeah, maybe I'm really from the future. Well, you... You're making a face like like you have no idea what I'm talking what I'm talking about. Uh, you can consult me if you have any problems, you know. Uh, it'd be nice if we could uh, cheer you up. Thanks. So he left. Uh, let's keep going and see if we can find Kirabe. Oh, I guess he's not here. Uh, the dream I saw the other day. Uh, uh, my dreams are always taking place in the future, but all, all of the characters appearing in my dreams are people I actually know. So it's probably just normal dreams, uh, it's not a vision of the future. Because even if it's stuff happening in the future, it's well, it's well too unrealistic stuff. That dream too, it was really weird. So I can remember uh, the dream where Mura appeared. Uh, so it's in 2025 and uh, at the mansion of Kisaragi, uh, Kisaragi's, Kisaragi's place. Uh, was that drone just now part of the giant monsters? It'd be nice if it doesn't find this. So her home got destroyed. Hey, Kisaragi. Uh, on the first floor, uh, <coughs> there was this bakery, and it starts were really delicious. Uh, this is the mansion I used to live in, and it become like this. Uh, hey, are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I I've cooled down for now. I need to change my my. I need. I don't need. I shouldn't keep depressed like this. Uh, I've been crying all day, so my voice is all so weird. Yeah, even if it's weird, it's fine. Uh, if you did a stream like this, I definitely would watch it. Yeah, you're stupid. Uh, yeah, because Kisaragi is a streamer. Uh, she's a streamer in the future. Uh, let's go to the main road. Maybe uh, a rescue helicopter is going to find us. Yeah, no, the only thing flying are these weird uh, bugs things. I don't think we should expect some kind of rescue. And on the net, there's been no. Like, no one's talking about it on the net. Yeah, there's been no. There's been no updates on the net, on the net regarding the situation. Uh, the rescue won't come. Uh, 
Uh, probably the same thing is happening all over the world. And everyone has been killed by these guys. Well, uh, uh, no, like they've really disappeared. I talked to say like she said Hieta, which means disappearing. So I thought she was implying that they, they got killed, but she, she's saying that she really saw everyone disappear in front of her eyes. So everyone really disappeared when the, when the aliens attacked. For some reason. My, my father and my mother are probably too... Yeah, we are not sure yet. Uh, we're not sure if these things are aliens, but... Uh, we don't know if these things are aliens, but if they just hit people with their light, then this, the people who were hit will suddenly disappear. Wait, it's saying a lot of complicated stuff here. I'm gonna summarize. But... Yeah, okay. So it's saying that it's weird that the aliens have a technology advanced enough to just make people disappear with their lasers, and yet they are not destroying the whole city just directly, and they are drilling holes all around the city, just like if they are waiting for something to happen. <laughs> And maybe there's a reason why we are the only one who survived. We're in this situation and yet you're the same as usual. You're really calm. No, that's not true. I'm really... well... Hey, it's dangerous. So, he was saying that he's cared too, and then something happened. Hey, are you okay? Hey, look. Oh, it's just that the building over there has collapsed. It's not them. Yeah. That was scary. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, I remember until like until middle school, you were you used to wear glasses and you were a pretty serious guy. So why did you change suddenly like that? Oh, ah, that's that's because in one of in one of your streams you said that uh, this type of guys are more are more your type. So that's why you you, you stopped wearing glasses. So I guess if, uh, just changing my appearance isn't good enough. Hey, you should stop joking at a time like this. And when you, you're already pretty popular. So why would you be interested in me? Uh, the guy named Fate F8 was always writing comments. It's actually me. Wait, you're that guy? It's not like I was trying to hide it, but... Uh, so this person was always supporting me when it comes to singing, so that's why I actually started singing for real. 
Uh, your songs are really uh, incredible. Uh, she was saying, yeah, I think about you do something and then they got interrupted by a mirror. Oh, thank goodness. There's other survivors than us. I've came here to save you guys. Uh, Morimura, they're here. My name is Miura Kentaro. Uh, what about you guys? I'm Kisaragi Tomi. Oh, so these are the two that the drone has found. Uh, so what's your name? Ida Tetsuya. So yeah, his name is different than the name he's using right now. So he's also from the future and then when he got in the past, he got his memory erased and then he got his name changed too, just like Juro and just like uh, Fusaka. Gonna save. Oh, so now we unlocked the uh, mirror. Can't tell. Okay. I'm gonna keep going if you know. So that's another day now, the next day or some, something like that. Oh wait, it's the same. Oh wait, it's the same thing, but no, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm starting at the same day, but no, uh, because I have more keywords, I'll be able to go to another branch. Yeah, okay. So this is the same as earlier, but now I'll be able to do more choices. More choices. So that's his name from the future. You got it, yeah. So in my dream, I'm called Ida Tetsuya. I look the exact same, but the name is different. Uh, Kisaragi, Kisaragi often appear, appears in my dreams. So in my dream, uh, we are the only survivors after the world gets destroyed and we are trying to survive desperately. And maybe we were lovers or something. So I've seen another dream, uh, which was somewhere which looked like a laboratory, and the person who appeared in the dream is Kisaragi Tomi. I think something. Yeah. yeah, saying something. So I need to try and find another branch, uh, another choice compared to what I did earlier. First stuff I need to redo something. Uh, so yeah, Yuki isn't in a class. And then Juro isn't in this class either. And then, uh, oh, he had a different that area. Earlier she was in her class and now she bumped into us. Hey, you're. Oh, maybe I should. Uh, verify this. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing, pervert? Do you think you can do anything just because uh, all the girls are in love with you or something? 
Yeah, no, I mean, so yeah, you're different than in my dream. <laughs> so basically he's saying that she's fatter than what he felt in his dream when he was hugging her. Hey, why are you saying I'm getting fatter? Oh, okay, so I get it. So in the dream when there was the sun and they thought that a monster was coming to attack them, he tried to protect her and when he was hugging her, he said that he could hug pretty much all of her. But now that he tried, no, he tried it just now and she seems to be taller or something because he couldn't cover her properly when hugging her. So he's speaking, so yeah, it was a dream and she's not the same person. Uh, it was just a dream. So that's a pretty interesting way of trying out your, if your dream is real or not. So if uh, Kurabe was here, he would be telling me that I've been watching too many Splatter movies. So what's gotten to you all of a sudden? I don't care you at all. Uh, okay, so now we are in another route now. Uh, so now I guess I'll see another event. See if I go to the corridor. Yeah, now we have another event this time with Fuyusaka, Yuri. Hey Fuyusaka, you're alone? Hey Amiguchi. So Kurabe isn't with you? So I've seen a, a weird dream and I wanted to ask Kurabe about it. So you in the same case as me? So yeah, I've been seeing weird dreams too. Dreams about robots? No. Yeah, maybe it was a robot, but... Uh, what kind of robot appeared in your dream? Uh, it were some droids and they looked just like human people. So I was in a laboratory or something with these droids. Hey, I know this place. I've been here in my I've been over there in my dreams too. Uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, it was a, it was an underground research facility. Uh, the six number six of Shikishima. Shikishima is the same company as earlier. The com where the company was making the matches and was posing as an airplane and a industrial company. Uh, yeah, the, so in my dream it said that it was the 6th laboratory, underground laboratory of Shikishima. Wait, so that place is underground? So Usami-chan was there too. Usami is Glassy's girl, Kisaragitomi. She's calling her Usami. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, please tell me more about the dream you saw. So we're going to remember the dream now. Uh, 
Wait, so Kisaragi is actually an android? Uh, so he's saying uh, things will be fine now. Uh, the preparation for the memory data has been completed. So this is Amiguchi from the future and when he's older and he was a scientist and he's created Kisaragi and she's a robot. Okay. Uh, thank you, Tamao. Uh, you were a great help helping me with all this. Yeah, don't worry, Ida. Just like my time, this time will succeed as well. Uh, Kanojo, I'm sorry for... I'm sorry for prioritizing her over you. Uh, I'll be preparing a body for you very soon too. Yeah, I'll be waiting for it. So, okay, so there's some people who are data only or something, and uh, he's making bodies for them. He's making android bodies for them. And this Tama, this Tama chan girl uh, is currently only data, and he's going to make a body for her later on. Uh, so say what is so say again? Like uh, restarting, yeah, starting, starting the, starting the composition of something. Uh, I was able to synchronize the memories and the. I was about to synchronize the memories. Please come back. Tommy. Uh, do you do you recognize me? Do you know who I am? Idakun? Oh not, you're not. You're Ida's brother? Uh, uh, did you did you ask a brother? Yeah, it's really you. You've become bigger. You're an adult now. So it seems like uh, she got transferred to data only for years, and then he made a body for her. Sorry for taking so long. Even by using the technology from underground, it took me 8 years. I, I can't move. Uh, it seems that she doesn't understand her situation yet. Uh, I'll be cutting off her emotions to avoid making her fall into panic. What's happening? Uh, please calm down and listen to me. Uh, okay. Uh, Sector Zero, the place they call Sector Zero in this game is basically the first time they everyone time traveled. It's the first time before any loop, any time loop happens, Sector Zero. And it's saying that uh, there was a memories data stored in Sector Zero and he managed to transfer it and he transferred it in a uh, android's body. So I'm not human? Hey Tamao, please... Uh, please uh, try and explain things to her. Kisaragi, right now you are... So 
so right now you are an AI. You you've been made to to act just like Sabagitomi, but you are you are an AI. Yeah, but you're still you. Uh, please connect me to where I'll be explaining. I'll be explaining things to her di directly. Please. So this kind of really creepy. So I need to connect her. Uh, where do where do I go? Oh, okay. Yeah, so she's here. So Morimira is also. So this is a laboratory from the government because Morimira is one of the. Is one of the top agents. I think she's the chief, or at least she's one of the decision makers in the government. Uh, so she's saying there's a problem with the Sentinels. Uh, so there's a sentinel we were supposed to be that was supposed to be completed but it's not activating uh, okay so there's a sentinel who isn't activating and the sentinels use the same system as the d series meaning uh, if you have the g code you'll be you should be able to, to control it but it's not working so if it's not working it means that there's someone who's directly accessing the sentinel to make the code not work yeah this is complicated hey what's wrong Oh, you've got some problems over here too? No, everything's fine now. Uh, she's calmed down now. Uh, really? So what happened to the previous me? Please tell me the truth. <laughs> okay, so she was killed by Juro apparently. Just like all the others. So no, I've, I've killed Juro. So this is uh, this happens just after the scene we've seen the other day where she shot Juro. And she's saying that Jiro from the future killed everyone apparently, and now she killed him. Okay. Man, this game has got, got tons of weird reveals. <laughs> I have no idea where the story is going. Damn it. It's that dream again. What time is it right now? Uh, I can't go back to sleep now. Yeah, same stuff. Yeah, same stuff. So, oh, he's realizing that uh, he's having a different name in his dreams, and that Fuyusaka is having a different name too. Come to think of it, uh, in my dreams, the Morimura Sensei in my dream j looks just like Fuyusaka. She has the same atmosphere. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we need to turn up the TV. Hey, so today nothing's happening? 
えいテレビに話しかけるなんて昔は yeah, I'm really weird speaking with my TV そんなことないよ No, that's not true. I'm really happy. <laughs> This is so creepy. <laughs> oh, so you're here. So, what, what the hell are you? Okay, so looking at things this way, it looks like it will still take some time. It will, it will take some time for what? Uh, are you the real Inaba Miyuki? Or are you just taking her appearance? There's only one Inaba Miyuki in the world, and that's me. But yeah, maybe I've been、uh, disguising myself. I mean, idols are, are made up existences.、Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, but this is a normal TV. This isn't a telephone. So, this is weird we can speak with each other. So, the TV is just、uh, a receiver, and you're the one I'm calling because I didn't have any other options. Thanks to the universal control, I don't know what the hell this is, I've been able to access this program. And I can hijack a part of it. I don't get it at all, but in summary, you're pretty much hijacking the TV to chat with me? Yeah, you could call it that way.、And、attracting me. Because、uh, I could only find you.、Uh, I could only find your ID. Plus, I know you're someone I, I can count on. So you just said that it is going to take some time. What were you talking about? So she's saying that what, what is going to take some time is、um, how, how much time is going to need to understand her current situation. Oh, it's not good. I'm being, I'm being surveyed. I'm being.、Uh, I'm being spied on. Like someone, someone's,、uh, how do you say that? Someone's, someone is supervising me. So I'd be cutting the access for now. Okay, so another big revelation this time. So Kisaragi seems to have died in the future. She was killed by Juro, just like most of the other. Protagonist, I guess, and then this guy became a scientist and then he made some droids using the UFOs technology from, from underground and he's working with the government, which is led by Morimira Sensei who is Fuyusaka Iori. And that one flashback was from the time they were developing the matches and he was developing some robots to make some replacement bodies for the people who died. He saved their memories and he was planning to transfer them to robots. Okay? Let's save. I'm gonna do one more chapter and then we're gonna stop this. Okay, so now we cannot keep going with him anymore.、Uh, we need to clear the event.、Uh, we need to clear Minami's event, which is called 
Death Druid. So I need to play as her to be able to keep playing him later on. So okay, so let's pick someone else now. Uh, I'm not sure what to pick. Uh, the problem is basically I'm not sure. Like the game is is written pretty well because no matter who you pick, you'll always get some new answers, but you're always getting some new questions too. So I have no idea what to pick, which will make me understand more more the story. So I, I'm just gonna pick randomly. I'm gonna pick her because I like her. I like the D Lincoln girl, Yuki something. Uh, what was her name? Takami Yuki. And she's voiced by uh, what was her name? Karen and Kangis. I uh, forgot uh, Koshimizu Ami. Koshimizu Ami is her CU. So, and she's a Dilakan girl, so she's gonna be fun. So, let's play as her and Fana. Uh, Kokodana, this is here. So, I guess the track and field club's, club's room is uh, farther than here. And what I remember, like I'm not sure, I think we've seen this in another character story, is that uh, Yuki here, she's friend with uh, Minami, the track and field girl, the bloomers girl. Uh, it, it looks like she's looking for her. Oh, nice effect on the on the pedal here. So let's look for the for the track and field club club room. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, nothing. I can't speak with these guys. Uh, oh, I should go this way, okay. Oh, she's here. They are, they are best friends, the two. Hey, Nat-chan. Yuki-chan. Hey, you've grown even taller. Hey, you've grown out your hair, so I didn't recognize you at first. Yeah, you're the one who told me I should get some longer hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, you stopped replying to my Bunsu. What is Bunsu? It's like, like, uh, letters. Yeah, she, they were sending uh, letters to each other and she stopped responding on off-sitting, so she was worried. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, ever since I moved out, a lot of stuff happened. But now I'm transferring to the school. Really? Because I know you're here. So I was looking for you, I wanted to see you. But I didn't expect that to wear in, his, in the track and field club. I've got a ton of stuff to tell you. But you, you still, uh, your club, uh, your club activities aren't over yet, aren't they? So I'll be going back a bit later. So we we'll see each other anytime. So don't stress it. Yeah. Uh, do your best uh, with the club. Yeah, see you later. Uh, see you tomorrow. Oh, Amiguchi is here. Hey, yuki -chan. Oh, so you really did transfer here. Hey, stop calling me that. Uh, I don't like when people don't call me by my name. But she... Yeah, shut up. Uh, she's special. Oh, by the way, you, you... You remember me, right? Yeah, I wonder, I, I wonder about that. I thought it was a destiny meeting. Yeah, we just met on the main world, in the commercial world. So don't get too close. Yeah, you're so terrible. Hey, stop calling me that. Oh, uh, Ozo didn't come, guy. Hey, Amiguchi, I was looking for you. 
Yeah, Ogata Nenji. He's one of the protagonists too. Come to think of it, uh, I think he's the only one I didn't unlock yet. Hey, what's what's wrong? Hey, isn't that Takamiya? What, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, are you are you here to pick up a fight? No, she just transferred over here. Hey, you transferred, huh? Yeah, but you your uniform is wrong. Yeah, you you've got a different uniform. Yeah, it's that it's just that this this glassy bastard got something wrong. I mean she's saying that she doesn't want to wear the the normal uniform because it's too girly. But isn't this rare to transfer at this time of the year? Yeah, everyone got their own circumstances. Are you planning something or something? Yeah, stop, stop, uh, stop, she's not suspicious, she's not suspicious, so stop it. Yeah, so why did she come to this school? Because well, we're going to see why did she decide to transfer over here. Uh, send it to me a few a few days before. Uh, this is a this is a police station. Yeah, the the, the security security office police station does okay the same thing. Hey, I've brought her here. Okay, go over here. Oh, so this is the glasses bastard she was talking about. And this guy too is one of the government guy. And basically he's one of the top chiefs with uh, Morimura Sensei. And he's one of the people who is organizing the time loop, basically. Okay, I was waiting for you. So you can... Uh, he's saying to the policeman that he can leave now. I want to speak with her alone. So you're Takamiya Miyuki, you're 16 years old, you're in the something something high school, I can't read that. And you've been fighting multiple times with uh, with male students, with male delinquents. And you ended up sending 12 students to the hospital. Wow, you're pretty strong. I've sent this guy to the hospital. So yeah, some guys from the other school. Okay, so she's saying that one of the guys she beat up must have told everyone about it. So that's why people know that she sent three of people to the hospital. Hey, you're pretty suspicious of me. Uh, I'll be... I'll be direct. I want to borrow your skills. I want you to cooperate with us. Yeah, you honestly believe I'm going to become one of your police guys' dogs? Go look for someone else. So your father, Takamiya Heita? Heita? So your father, he got some violent conducts, he did some violent conducts and he ended up uh, 
killing someone I think and now he's in jail he's saving he's saving a, a sentence so yeah what about it so it seems like Sasaretanova Boryukudan Kambuda Kareda no Mensmo Arundarone, Miss Idaga Sudeni Nikayo Sorati Whatever an Araba Anzena came to you to Snow. Okay, so basically, uh, her father killed, killed someone from a dangerous group, from a, from Yakuza, I guess. And he's saying that no uh, people in the in her father's prison are getting attacked by, by these guys' comrades. And basically, he's telling her that um, if she cooperates with them, then they'll be able to transfer her father in a more secure prison. So that way, he won't be in danger. So do I. But yeah, everything will depend on your choice. Yeah, you've got some really dirty ways. So basically, he's, he's negotiating, but he's pretty much caressing her. He's telling her that uh, unless they, unless she cooperates, they won't help her father. So listen. Do you know Shikishima Heavy Industries? Uh, it's a really important company who's doing anything from trains, from rockets, from airplanes. And this Shikishima Heavy Industries is currently developing a secret weapon. So it's really... There's a high chance we'll get some... Will be will be hindered by secret by agents of other countries. So yeah, what what does this got to do with me? Uh, yeah. Let me give me a second to wrap my head over, over all of this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's saying, uh, my bad, he was saying that basically he's saying that uh, multiple people are cooperating with this company in order to develop these secret weapons and they've been investigating and they found out that all the people in, um, all the people involved in the development of the secret weapons are all high schoolers uh, they are all kids and all these kids are gathered in the school uh, which is uh, owned by shikishima So, are they making some kids develop some new atomic, atomic bomb or something? This is so stupid. Shikishima. Oh, I've seen these guys on the TV and commercials and stuff. So, this company is developing a secret weapon, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so her father was a, was a, a low-ranked Yakuza, and he ended up killing a high-ranked Yakuza, so now he's in jail, and the other Yakuza's are aiming for his life. So yeah, she doesn't care about her father, but she also cares about him, kinda, but she doesn't care, yeah, typical father problem stuff. Oh, same thing I earlier, okay. 
so that's asking about the secret weapon of the kids. So why do you, why do you need kids to make this weapon? Oh, so you seem to be interested now. Uh, look at the documents over on top of the desk. Uh, these are the names of the kids. Okay. Uh, first year B class, Fuyusaka Iori. Uh, second year A class, Goto Renya. This is the glasses guy, voiced by Lelouch. Uh, first year, Kisaragi Kurabe. Yeah, and she saw that her friend's name is on the list. And your job will be to supervise these kids. Why? Why is Natchan's name on this list? Uh, so before I explain to you the details, uh, do you have any questions? So if you already know Shikishima is already suspicious and making some weapons, why don't you just infiltrate the, uh, why don't you just infiltrate the, the company yourself? Uh, it'd be bad if we get uh, if we stand out. So I don't wish to ask the police about this this affair. Oh, so if you're not from the police, so who the hell are you? Uh, so it's from an intelligence agency that was made up by the government and is basically a spy. Um, I'm the boss of this. Uh, I'm the chief of this division, so I'd become your boss. Okay. So, no one from uh, these guys I sent to the hospital. None of them died. Uh, only three of them got some fractures, and the other got only minor bruises. <laughs> so oh, that's too bad. <laughs> hey, what's... Yeah, they're the one who called their friends to fight with me, so I've just defended myself. Uh, it got nothing to do with you adults. Oh, so this is one of the protagonists. So, who is this girl? Uh, I, uh, I will introduce you. Uh, this is Shinonome Ryoko. She will also be... She will also be infiltrating the school. So, she's your senpai. So first I'll be transfer transferring you to Sakura High School, just like her. Uh, we'll prepare all the documents for the school transfer. Hey, don't decide this yourself. I didn't accept your, your job yet. Oh, so she asked her... She asked her something and she just ignored her. So that girl is the one you were talking about? Yeah. Hey, don't ignore me. Hey, it seems like she doesn't know anything. Hey, you're pretty you are pretty annoying woman. Uh, 
サツとは違うらしいが。あ、ピンクシーシェイングザザナットヤクザ、バッチッチペチメシェンフィングトヘア。ザナットヤクザデレンクンスアンザナットガングメンバーズオブサンフィング。あ、ノウェイ、サツイ
Yeah, but maybe these people will. You have a minute? Uh, you were speaking about Minami Natsuno, right? Uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Takamiya. Anyway, uh, if you know something, please tell me. Why Natsuno is absent? It seems like she didn't go, go back home. We went to a place yesterday, but... Uh, at the interphone, uh, her mother was apologizing. Uh, it seems like some police officers were at her home. Yeah, I wonder if these guys are really police officers. Ah, this is worrying. Thanks for telling me. Hey, Usami. Oh, you are waiting for me? Yeah, let's go. Hey, what are you doing? What's wrong? We told you to not stand out. Yeah, did you? Don't forget about your father. She's threatening her. And don't uh, don't stick your neck into Minami Natsuno's case. What? So she knows something. We can ask her about the police officer that were at Natsuno's place. So, yeah, so it wasn't the police, but it was some special agents from the intelligence agency. Uh, I've been in charge of investigating Minami Natsuno's incident. So don't get in my way. Do you get it? Hey, wait. She left. What happened to Nachan? Is it just his bastard? I'm going to see him and get the truth out of him. So we can go see him, yeah. You'll be thus, let's call him out. Um, you were bothering me. I thought I told you to, to avoid direct contact like this. What's happening with Minami Natsuno? You need to explain this to me. Uh, so he's saying that uh, she ran away from home and that is something which of often happens to adolescents during puberty. And she's saying, yeah, that's what the police say to the school. But uh, you're the guys who told, who told the police to do that. Yes. But for now, uh, the investigation didn't didn't advance yet, so I don't have anything to explain to you. We we uh, don't we have no idea where she is, and we don't even know if she is alive or not. Uh, it seems like we've. Uh, so he's saying that the agents saw her getting abducted. Uh, 
Yuki is asking who the hell did that? Who's, who the hell kidnapped her? Uh, is it Shikishima who, who kidnapped her? So he's saying it's not Shikishima because if they already wanted to kidnap someone, they could do it without causing without causing an an an, an incident. So it's another force. It's another organization who kidnapped her. So is that the people Shinonome is uh, investigating? It's highly possible the uh, It's highly possible they are still uh, they are still clues or the people who make who made her uh, who made her disappear are, are still in the school's vicinity. So it's dangerous. So you shouldn't step into this case and leave it to Shinonome. Takamiya. You you just need to keep supervising the kids and you don't need to do anything else. Is that is that understood? Yeah, don't screw around with me. Okay, so this girl was engaged by the government and the special organization of the government and which is a different organization than, than Shikishima, the guys who are making the sentinels. Uh, which is where uh, uh, Morimura Sensei is part from. So there are two factions for now, and this girl is part of the government. And yeah, so she's supposed to just spy on the protagonist, but she, uh, her best friend has disappeared, so she's not going to follow orders, and I guess she's going to look for her. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna stop here for today. Thanks for watching, uh, I hope you liked it, we've got a lot of new revelations today again, uh, to be honest, there's a lot of stuff happening, so sorry if my translations can be a little bit confusing at times, like I'm not even sure I get anything, like even if it, if that was in French or in English, I'm not sure I would get everything either, so it's pretty confusing for now, but hopefully we're starting to get some answers, and there's a lot of mysteries, but we've got some, a lot of answers too, so it's really interesting for now. So the next video will be coming sooner sooner rather than later. So thanks for watching and see you on Dual Shockers. That was Ian from Dual Shockers, the guy who always watches Japanese games. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.